Alright, today we will be changing the pins on the elevator chain. Um, these are the tools that you will be needing. It will be a tape measure, a punch, some wire cutters, crescent wrench, 5 16 bolts, vice grips, a little bit of map gas, and these are the new pins to go back into the chain. When you are changing this, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to measure from the inside of the black piece to right here on this edge and make sure that they are even when you put them back together. Now, and now the first thing you have to do in order to change these pins out is get the crescent wrench, you have to loosen both of these nuts, loosen the two big nuts on both sides. Then you can go and you have to loosen the little one, which is the threaded rod, and pull the take up and the bearing back. Now you have to do it evenly. You have to do a little on this side and a little on the other side so that the shaft stays straight and does not get wedged. Switch back to the other side. Now that they're loose, we can get our punch. And there's two different sides to the pin. The pin's only gonna break on one side. This side is the factory set side, so this is the side that will not break. You have to punch it from the other side. You just put the punch here. Give it a couple hits, the plastic will break, and then you just pull it out from the other side. Now, as you can see, the chain is now completely free and in two pieces. Now, if you want, you can always bring these back a little bit more. Sometimes it does help to put the chain back together. It makes it a little bit easier. There's not so much tension on the chain. Okay, now to put the chain back together, it's pretty simple. You just pull the chain, line up, line up these back where they go. The center one doesn't have a lot of support, so it will move around. It's not a big deal. Just take it over here, and you have it up, and just kind of line it up, slide the pin in, and just keep moving sideways. Make sure that this side goes all the way in, pressed all the way over. Now take your cutters, lift this up, and 
cut this off. Now you will need to push the pin back in because it will move backwards once you cut it. Push it back out. You'll, you'll need to put the bolt or a pin of your choice onto your vice grips and heat it up. Now once your bolt is hot enough, once your bolt is hot enough, push this back up. Make sure the pin is all the way out and just melt it. Make sure you melt it in a circular motion and you are done. Then you then you just go back, retighten these uh, take ups back to the measurement that you took in the beginning. And when you're done, tighten this nut back so that it does not move.